Hello, this is the second of three videos based on the Data Viewer. And in this one, we'll see how we can filter and sort the data without having to add any new nodes to the canvas. So let's start with adding filters. Navigate to the column you'd like to filter. In this case, I'm going to choose a field that has a double data type. Click on the hamburger menu and select filter. The filtering options that are displayed here depend upon the data type of the field. These are the options for a number data type. These are the options for a string or Unicode data type. And these are the options for a date data type. So in this number data type, I want to view any records where the units are less than or equal to 10. So I'm going to go down here, click less than or equal to, and then here I'm going to enter 10 and click done. Back down here in the data viewer, we can see that only the fields which met the condition are displayed. It's important to note here that even though the first 1,000 records are displayed in the data viewer, when we apply a filter, it takes effect over the entire data set, not just the first 1,000 rows. Once conditions like these have been applied to a column, a filter symbol will appear at the top to remind you that you've added a sort or a filter to the data in that column. Clicking on that filter icon provides us with more options. From here, you can choose to edit the filter, remove it, or even remove all filters across all columns. The hamburger menu at the top of the column also gives us the option to sort. The options available under the sort feature depend on the type of data in the column. For string data sets, you can sort by A to Z or Z to A. For time or date, you can sort from newest to oldest or vice versa. For numbered data sets, you can sort by smallest to largest or largest to smallest. In this example, I'm going to choose A to Z. Once the data is sorted, an arrow is displayed on the column, which indicates that a sort has taken place and a direction in which it was given. You can click on the arrow to reverse the sort order. Normally, in the data viewer, each row of data is alternatively striped. However, when it has been sorted, the row shading changes in line with each value change. This makes it easier for you to spot any changes. So once we've used the sort feature in the data viewer, we can add a sort node to the canvas containing the sorted data. To do that, just click on the plus icon over here and select sort. You can do the same thing for the filtered data. Go up here, click on the plus icon. But for this, you can use either a split or a filter node. I'm gonna choose split and the node will appear on the canvas with the conditions specified in the data viewer.